so it's Louisa Church here from Collective Motion Dance. This creative task needs feathers. So if you don't have feathers at home, so you might use them for crafting possibly, um, you could pick one up on one of your walks um, and then pop it in the freezer to clean it and then you can use it after that. Or if you don't want to use a real feather, you could use a tissue or a floaty scarf, so something that floats. So I would like you to explore how a feather makes you dance. So you might think about how it feels on your skin. So it could be a tickly type of dance. So you could tickle and then move, tickle and then move. You could decide that you want to blow your feather and watch it float down and watch it float, float, float. And then how could you float like a feather? Being blown in the wind, really, really lightly, okay? You might decide that you want to balance your feather. So how can ooh, you balance your feather? You might decide that you want to use your feather as stepping stones, maybe. So, you can walk on one, then walk on another, then walk on another. Okay, so explore how feathers make you dance, either as an inspiration or physically using it in your dance. So choose some light, calm music and then have a go.